Hey guys, uh, this is uh, basically what I have packed up for my hiking trip um, that I was supposed to do this weekend, but we had storms, so hopefully do it within the next couple of weeks. Uh, a couple things I wanted to show you. I'm not going to do a complete loadout, but um, I'm going to do a review of the bag, and then I'm just going to talk about some of the stuff that I got. So this is similar to a platypus. It is one liter, and it was like two bucks. I know platypus, those things are awesome, but they're, it's like nine bucks for a bottle. Um, so check these out, just outdoor gear. I think it's Walmart. So uh, check it out. And here I usually keep my camera and then just binoculars, see some cool wildlife stuff on our hiking trip, hopefully. So um, I'm going to talk about the bag as I go here. In the front you can see a bunch of molly. This is a bunch of hook and loop. This small pocket is completely from here to here. It's about ten and a half inches by about eight inches. Um, you can totally fit your whole hand in there. So that's um, really quick and easy to get to. Uh, sometimes they keep my headlamp in there. Um, you know, binoculars, camera, stuff you want to get to real quick. Then this opens as if it's on your chest, just like that. Um, so I have my map in here of where we're going. The Hopefully our campsite and a couple other trails. Compass. Um, knife sharpener. Right here there's some uh, elastic molly. There's also a bunch of different pockets for pens and stuff. Here's a little mini Housewife survival kit. Here is a cell phone, iPod, iPod charger, just for backup in case of emergency. A um, bunch of little pockets in here. You can fit a million little things in here. I got some paracord and some duct tape on a carabiner and some duct tape on a credit card. So just a little bit of supplies there. You never know what you might need. But this just opens on your chest just like that. I apologize if you can't see this guy. Um, and this is plastic, so if it rains, it's not going to get your map all, right, all wet. Again, I keep my compass right there. I'll pull it out if I need to. But, again, something really easy to get to. Let me put this stuff back in real quick. Sorry, guys. Alright. So, on the side here, I have a... Uh, Laura. The Mora M60 companion knife. Got this from uh, canteenshop.com. It's super, super nice, super, super sharp. Going to be doing a review on this later. Um, also have just a crank flashlight. Um, love crank flashlights. Turn it on. Because I hate buying batteries, <laughs> is one of the first reasons. Also has a flash out there. Um, but this light in particular was like on clearance, like five bucks at Walmart. I mean, you can't even buy batteries for five bucks. Um, so this is one side. As you can see, you got two compression straps for the main pocket on both sides. Uh, tons of Molly, as you can see, and just a regular 16 ounce water bottle holder right there. So if we open the main pocket here. Sorry about that. Just like that. All right. Um. So this is the main pocket. Got some hook and loop right there, as you can see. This is my mini first aid kit, just like it implies. Tons of stuff in there. If you want me to go through it, I'll be sure to. But uh, you know, you guys know what's in a first aid kit. That's just my mini one. Keep it hooked right there so it's easy to get to. I always know where it's at. This Coleman one person cook set. Make sure I get this all on frame here. So I got, and then I got my uh, Ozark Trail eating tool. But uh, just a couple pans with the snap out handles, and then these are pop. Two of them. And they have measuring on the side, and it is all contained within itself. Uh, love this thing. Haven't used it yet. Plan to use it on our hiking trip. So, uh, again, some of this stuff I'll let you know how it goes as, as I use it more and more. 
just keep my eating tool in there so it's not rattling around somewhere else. Keeps it clean, and I always know where it's at. And then it zips up in its own little thing. Super nice. All right, this right here is my coffee uh, cup. Set it right on the fire. Boil my water. Add my instant coffee. Stir it up. Good to go. Um, inside of that, I keep this little blue bag. So I'll show you what's in that real quick. One of these dry bags you get at Walmart. Just fold it up. Keeps everything inside of it dry. Just super nice. I think this is, yeah, this is my fire kit. Um, way more than I need on a hiking trip, but I just like to keep everything together. Um, so I'll go through everything that I got, and then I'll put it right back. Okay, so I have one of these spark light kits. Sorry about that. You can see comes with the spark light and then some of these tinders. Tinder quicks. Quick, Keep that in there. Um, I got a mini Bic and a regular size Bic. Just to have, really. I have magnesium rod right there. I have, in here, I have cotton balls um, with some fireproof matches or waterproof matches. A couple wet fires just in case I need to use them. And then I have, this is a medicine bottle filled with uh, waterproof matches and cotton balls, and then these two are just cotton balls. So just a bunch of tinder. In case we're in a wet area, in case you can't find any small sticks or whatever. And then I also have my uh, DIY spark light made from a empty Bic lighter. Awesome. If you want to know more about how to do that, check out another video of mine. But that is my uh, fire kit right there. Let's see, I also have uh, when I, when I go camping, I take one of these uh, solar lights. I I have one. My fiance has one. We put them outside the front entrance of our tent. So at night, when you go to the bathroom, you see where you're supposed to be going, and it's it's nice to be able to see more without having to get out your flashlight or whatever. And then these were at a dollar at a dollar store, or a dollar tree. So that's super nice. This yellow bag is full of, um, see I have a bandana in here, some work gloves, a um, couple camp towels, and some of my clothes. And then right in here in this mesh pocket right here, I have a Coleman folding saw. I haven't used it much yet. I had a Gerber saw and it broke within like a half hour of using it. So I'm going to try this. If this doesn't work, I'm going to just figure something else out, I guess. Um, but so just kind of wanted to show you uh, again the, the inside here, it can fit up to like a 17 inch laptop. Um, it's got a lot of padding, it's super comfortable. It carries the weight of whatever you're carrying super, super well. Um, that's one of the biggest things that I've noticed is I would load this out with like 50 pounds worth of stuff that I use for school and it carries it way better than my backpack for school does. Um, let's see, Molly, of course, you can connect the crap out of this thing. Um, you could hold a bunch of more stuff on here than you, than I do. Um, on the back side here is enough room for a 32 ounce um, water bottle, some more Molly, you can strap in anything else you want to dry off your backpack, or excuse me, your uh, jacket, more compression straps, you have the uh, drain holes there. On the bottom, there's a handle to pull it around, also more drain holes, so nothing in here is going to just be sitting in water. And then you have these straps right here. I have used these to carry a tent, a jacket, a sleeping bag, a pillow, anything. You can expand them out and then fold them up. These are awesome. Everybody should have these. These allow you to wrap up the excess of your your uh, nylon here and fold it up so it doesn't get caught on anything, doesn't get ripped. Um, it's it's an amazing idea. Here is the back. You guys can see how padded it is. It is super, super comfy on the back. This is the main hip strap right here. Come around to here in the front. It's got a locking mechanism. 
So even if you push the buttons there, it's not coming off unless you unlock it. Okay? Just a little bit of safety. This is the side strap. Um, no lock on that, but you don't need it. It's super nice. Keeps everything nice and controlled. You can lean over, you can bend over, and this pack isn't going anywhere on your back. It's not sliding all over like a regular backpack would. Uh, again, more molly. You know, you can put a hydration hose in here. Um, right here in the back is another pocket for a concealed carry for your hydration uh, bladder. Um, and then there's pockets up here for either your hydration hose, which would fit perfectly out of that pocket right there, or rifle or shotgun stock. You can put that right up the top of it so you can still carry your gun in your bag and then just have the, the nose of it sticking right out the top of your backpack. There is D-loops and D-rings and other um, ways to carry this bag all over. Um, I am super impressed. Uh, this is my first really expensive tactical gear bag that I've had, and I am very impressed with it. Um, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't ask for more. I don't expect anything more than this. It did way more than I expected. They think of everything that you have thought of. I mean, like certain little things. I've seen people who put on different uh, paracord because it dings a lot when they're walking and if these are metal like most are it dings and it's annoying and it's small but you change it because it's everyday use it's annoying you can so you do they've already thought of that okay here's these zippers on this small pocket you can put a lock through so if you keep your wallet your keys your phone whatever in there just lock it no problem okay these zippers right here have a little bit of um rubber on them so they're even more comfortable the way that it's you slide it around to your chest and then you can see you know right into your bag and keep all your zippers and that's how all your pockets are and they just thought of everything for this pack I'm super pumped about it if you guys have any more questions about any of this gear or anything you've seen on my channel shoot me an IM or a PM uh, write a comment anything um, but again super excited about this pack hope you like it too um, see you guys later